let's solve a question on gravitational potential energy here we have a system which consists of three particles each of mass 5 kilograms which are located at the corners of an equilateral triangle with sides of 30 meters and we can see three particles over here we need to figure out the potential energy of the system and second part is assume the particles are released simultaneously describe the subsequent motion of each will any collisions take place all right before i get into this why don't you pause the video and first attempt this one on your own okay hopefully you have given this a shot now potential energy of a system uh, let's say if let's say if we had if we had two particles if we had any two particles like this let's say this is of mass m1 and this is of mass m2 now the gravitational potential energy of this system this is given by u which is equal to minus g m1 into m2 divided by the distance between their centers and if let's say that is r this is divided by r here the system has three particles so the total potential energy of the system will be the sum of potential energy of each of the pairs that is the sum of the potential energy of mass 1 and 2 plus the potential energy of mass 2 and 3 plus the potential energy of mass 3 and 1 so the u the u of the system this is equal to potential energy of the first mass and the second mass plus the potential energy of the second and third mass and the potential energy of the third and the first mass so let's 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 calculate that let me remove this part over here so for the first and the second particle the potential energy this is minus this is this is minus g minus g and the masses are the same so i'm writing m square because m1 m2 would just become m square masses are the same m square divided by divided by r which is still 30 but let's just write r and we will add this three times so even u the potential energy of the second and the third particle even that would be minus g m square by r because the distance is still the same this is an equilateral triangle and even the masses are the same so really what we are doing is we are multiplying this with three we are adding it three times and now when we put in the numbers this becomes minus three into g into m square which is 25 divided by 30 after putting in the value of g and and remember that g is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter cube divided by kilogram second square okay so after putting in this number the potential energy is 16.6 into 10 to the power minus 11 joules and now the second part is assume that the particles are released simultaneously describe the subsequent motion so let's think about what will happen when these particles are released there is already a gravitational force of attraction among all of these three particles there is there is a gravitational force there is a gravitational force in this direction the part, particle one is experiencing a force in this, in this direction due to particle two two is experiencing a force in this direction due to one but one is also experiencing a force in this direction due to three and the same three is also experiencing a force in this direction due to one if you think about two and three they are also exerting gravitational forces on top of each other and as a result of which look at all the forces that are acting on any one particle there are two forces acting so if you think about the resultant there will be a resultant which will be in this direction for particle one in this direction for particle two and in this direction for particle three turns out when you release them simultaneously that is when you release them together they all start moving towards the center of the triangle and after a point of time this is where they will land up they will all come towards each other because of the gravitational force of attraction among all of them so yes there will be a collision and they will collide together right at the center of the equilateral triangle you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you're watching on youtube do check out the exercise link which is added in the description